quick review today for the Nightcore i2 EU charger. This is a new model out. I'm just showing you here what you get included. You have a power cable, figure of eight connector, a user manual and the main unit itself. Pretty basic package. Looking over the packaging, we can see the batteries that it's compatible with. Lithium and nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium. Not all chargers support the cadmium. Here are some of the features of the charger. Just looking at the back cover. Most of the batteries you can charge with this are the common types, including some of the larger lithium ones. Notice the notes about battery activation too. And another feature which I haven't seen mentioned is it has an overtime protection feature. It shuts off after 20 hours. This runs on a trickle charge for nickel metal hydride. You have spring-loaded clips here. You can accept two batteries at a time with three LED indicators at the top. Each channel is independent of each other and here's the specs on the back. We're up to half an amp per channel charging speed. On the top here we can see there is the figure of eight power adapter connector and there's also a 12 volt input so you could run this off of a car charger or possibly a solar panel. Casing is quite well made, they say it's fire retardant, you have ventilation slots on the side there and the material has a sort of rippled effect to it. On the underside there is some foam pads. What you heard there was the effect of coil wine, which is the internal transformer. This is a quick look at it inside the casing. You'll see it's wrapped around with a plastic covering. Uh, the problem is that there's still some movement with the copper coil, and that's what causes the noise effect on the charger, and it varies depending whether it's under load or not. And you can hear it changing and making chirping noises. Testing the charger out with nickel metal hydride and lithium cells, I didn't have any problems. It activates the cells quite quickly. Uh, the only potential disadvantage you might find is fully or heavily discharged batteries where it won't actually know that the battery is inserted. In such cases, you will see the three lights come on and flashing to let you know that there is a problem. I haven't really had that with many batteries. More of a problem with some of the nickel metal hydrides that have been in storage for a long period of time. With half an amp charging speed, you should find that with most cells, that's quite an acceptable speed. There are faster ones out there. Um, for 18650s, it's a pretty good charging speed. You might find with some of the larger lithium cells that are over, say, 4,000 milliamps an hour, the charging speed will be a bit longer on those. You can roughly work that out by uh, dividing the capacity by the maximum charging speed. Overall, the i2 is a pretty good little charger. It's quite a versatile one because it charges quite a large number of cells. The only real downside for me would be the slightly strange noises that the unit makes, and I think that's an area where the maker could tighten up the quality control a bit more.